everybody. I hope you're all well. It's really wet and flooded and horrible here where I live, but we're all safe, but it's freezing cold. Um, I just want to do a really quick video today. I've got lots of happy mail to show you guys, so I thought we would do that. Um, I've got two orders come through from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I'm really excited because it's come with Helen's awesome recipe cards. Uh, which I am going to make. I love baking, so I'm looking forward to that. I love a good pull-apart bread. Um, so that's the recipe for that one. And then zucchini bread, which I haven't made before. Um, and for my kiwis, it is courgettes, of course. Um, but yeah, it's not summertime, so these are going to be something for summer that I will make and I'm just loving all her little doodles for all the stuff it's so cute so I got those and then I got some stickers so let's just and some of these are the the new ones that she's done as well so we'll have a wee looky at that so we have neutral sticky notes which is super duper cute I have de been some of them um, we have the neutral and the colourful speech bubbles, which are going to come in really handy in the planner. Oh, this is the colourful sticky notes. Plan for the week doodles. This is so cute, eh? Of course, the struggle bus, because everybody gets on that struggle bus sometimes. And the Hot Mess Express, which is me right now. If you saw what I look like, I look like I have been dragged through a bush backwards. Honestly, I'm a bloody mess at the moment. <laughs> Still it is. What's the time? Half past eight in the morning. The kids' school is closed because of the flooding and the rain. Ugh. Uh, June and July freebies. We really need to get a whole sheet of Get Your Ducks in a Row, I think. Really cute. Um, I got some neutral tab, well, the ash colour tabs. Um, this will be for my uh, Sterling Ink Common Planner for next year, but I wanted to be organised because shipping can take ages. Um, I got some trackers. Um, I have used one already for last week. And then I got. A bunch of graph trackers because I suck at drawing lines so I thought I would use those so I've bought three sheets of these and then I got another uh, achievements mini kit because this semester is my last semester at university so I thought I would get uh, this one and that last but not least vinyls and we love these I had to get on, hop on the struggle bus. It's so little and cute, don't you think? Then I got two, this planner belongs to. I don't know why I got two. I think just because I wanted to, you know, have options. They're really lovely. I have got another one and I never used it, so it's actually in my reusable sticker book. I got the little washi stack. And this one is from one of the um, the subs, the stationary subs. So that is my TCMC haul. The next thing we're going to have a look at together is a little order that I got from the stationary selection. Um, really exciting. So we'll just get that and I'll come right back. Okay, the next part. So I had a shipment from the stationery selection in Japan arrive today. Super excited about that. Um, I got a new dip pen. So I'm not even going to try and pronounce things because I don't want to butcher it. Um, but I will show you the packaging. Um, this is it. Sailor brand. So it comes like that, and in the end is the nib. So I got a, 
like I don't know one it's size one one millimeter it's not even a millimeter it's probably bigger and it just has a like a nib um, it does hold quite a bit of I can focus a quite a bit of ink in it but because you know I've got to be extra I bought the well I think that's what it's called like a normal um, fountain pens that you can get let's just unpackage that it's just a little plastic piece and what you do with this is if it's going to do it for me <laughs> oh I did it is it just clicks in um, and it allows your there we go clicks into the heart allows it to be almost like a proper fountain pen um, and it just lets you dip and hold more ink so we're going to have a go with that in a minute and the other thing that I got this brand which is Kuretake I know that one because I've had that before and this is make your own markers super excited about this because I've got so many pretty inks that I want to use um, and not enough fountain pens we all know those feels so on the back it gives you the instructions I'm going to show you how to use them and you get a marker pen with a nib it's quite a fine nib you get the bits that go inside that hold the ink sucks it up and then you get the cap for the end and you get these little sticky dots that you can write what it is one thing to note with these I have seen from other youtubers that have done reviews on these um, don't bother using your sparkly inks because it just won't show up so I have got oh, if I can get them all without dropping them I've chosen my favorite uh, Pilot Arashizuku whoa, inks oh my god and uh, if I can turn it around my favourite ones and we're going to use these so I'm going to put some gloves on because I know I'm going to make a mess and I will come back and we will do this okay I had one glove so wish me luck here I've also got some blotting paper and that's just going to protect my desk so we'll start with one and I'm going to use this one Chikurin which means I think it means bamboo grove my Japanese isn't that good um, and it is absolutely beautiful so what you do with this is you get your little thingy and you sit it in here now this is going to use a bit of ink but what you will be able to see as it is sucking it up into there. Hopefully you can see that. Just gonna prep a cap. Everything is taped so beautifully, of course. I mean, technically you shouldn't get this on your fingers because this is plastic lined. So we wanna wait until we get to the, till it soaks it right up into the middle. And it's, yeah, it's using quite a bit of ink, but that's okay because these little bottles, although they're only 15 mils, I don't know what that is in ounces or anything, um, they are going to take ages to use up anyway. Right, so that'll be enough. So I'm just going to very carefully just get the excess off and I'm going to put that in. Now as I put the cap on, I'll take this off, it's going to start soaking in. I don't know if you can see that. It's soaking up into this piece here. So you can see the tip is now starting to... I just totally got ink on myself. Starting to soak. So remember, always keep your lids on. Right. So I am going to go ahead and do the other five. And I'm going to speed it up and call myself and then we'll come back and we'll give them a test Let's put 
lids on things because I am notorious for knocking stuff over. I will tighten these up, don't worry. I'm going to take this glove off now. Right. I think what I will do is I will grab some Tomoe River paper and then we can swatch these properly because we want to give them um, a good opportunity to look awesome, don't we? So I've got a little loose leaf of this. Just got my blotting paper underneath. So we start with Chikurin. This one's had the longer. So you will notice that I've got like this ink inside here, but it's not going to matter too much. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh. It's almost like an actual rush pen. Wow, let's just zoom you in a bit. And my lighting's probably not, not the best. Although it does darken, which is cool. Um, and this is... That's so nice. Oh, this is a game changer. Okay. This next one is Hana Ikara, which is like a, a, I don't know, cherry blossom, I guess. I don't know. I need to really work on my Japanese. Wow, this is really cool. Such a pretty pink, isn't it? Then we have Konpeki, which is my favourite blue. I have a couple of favourite blues, to be honest. Gosh. Yamabudo and this is like a dark magenta super nice these nibs are lovely I'm gonna have to buy some more And then we have Murasaki Shikibu. Probably butchered that as well. Sorry. This is a gorgeous purple. Right, make sure I spell it right. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, see I made a bit of a mess in there, but that's all right. As long as it doesn't leak out the other end, we are good. Um, I may clean these up yet. And they've got writing on the side, and I cannot tell you what that says. Uh, does it say anything on the packaging? I mean, it's all in Japanese, so if you can speak Japanese, fantastic. It will tell you what that says um, it's this up here which I'm guessing is probably yeah is that which is the name um, I will have to google translate but let me just zoom you out again there we go I am so so happy so just the same as using a fountain pen on Tomoe River paper. This is Sanzen Tomoe River paper as well. 
I am blown away. Absolutely blown away. I am going to have to order more of these. I've got two, four, six, another six of those. And, well, that's of the Uroshizuku inks. Now, this bad boy. I've got some samples, some little ink samples that my planning friend Andy sent to me. I think we're going to try this one. This is a Korean ink. I will put what it is into the description box. Um... I'm not good with pronouncing now. This is where we hope that I don't get it everywhere. This is a shimmer ink. And we're going to try dipping without getting it all over our fingers. Now, I am going to put the lid back on because we all know how hopeless I am. I did spill and get nearly a whole thing of Organic Studio Nitrogen royal blue all over myself. Okay, so that is now holding quite a bit of ink. So, this is... Oh. Wow. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in again. Hang on. Oh, I've just... Okay, be careful because it drips. It's not a proper fountain pen, remember? So she's going to drip. Now remembering that I am left-handed, so this is probably going to write differently. Have I spelt it right? Yes. Not how sure I feel about that. Oh, and I've got completely off the thing. I might have a look at some of the other nibs, um, like a finer nib. I don't know, you can't really see the sparkle in this. I think I need the little ball nose, the stub nib. Really, that's going to be better for me. But that's okay, because if I've got to do some thick lines, or some thin lines, it's going to do the job, isn't it? So, But that is that. Um, I'm going to have to clean that ink up. I'm going to just lean that on my glove. But I think the, the score of the day are these make your own markers. Um, so I will clean that, I promise. So you can find that at the stationaryselection.com. Um, she has a whole ton of really awesome products out of Japan. She lives in Japan. Um, and you can see where I've like spilled. And she will send you things really, really fast. Um, you can get absolutely beautiful leather goods. You can get stationery. Um, all sorts. And highly, highly recommended. Great communication. I am not sponsored, by the way. Um, but, yeah. I'm going to be coming back for more of those. Because I want to use them for all of my inks. Because sometimes I just want to be able to do a, you know, something different apart from... I mean, don't get me wrong, like... I love my Twisby Ecos, but sometimes I just want to be able to use a marker pen to make a heading or something. And because I can use my inks, I can color match and everything is just stunning. But that is it for now. I am going to go and clean up because, yeah. And um, I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.